Hello. Uh, today is the 4th of April 2022. This is another video of me rambling to a camera. Um, the difference is that now I'm driving, so it's good because I'm not wasting any of my free time because driving time is really just, you know, you have nothing to do anyways. It's kind of wasted already. So it's like uh, making use of the wasted time. Anyways, uh, it has been a long time since I uploaded one of these um, videos. I almost, I, I, I already stopped doing it. I forgot it's, I ever did it. Um, but then someone uh, posted a comment on my video saying, Hey man, um, have you stopped uh, uploading these things? And that's the first time I realized that there are actually people watching these. Uh, so thank you for that comment. Um, really made my day for the other day. Uh, that's not sad, but it's true. <laughs> Anyways, um, so a lot to update uh, for myself. Last time I think I was pretty, um, pretty much still in, in grad school in NYU. Now I graduated with a PhD in chemistry last last June. Yeah, June 2021. Uh, a lot of bullshit happening over there, as you can probably imagine. Like a mediocre PhD student trying to defend, try to kiss up, you know, kiss the ass of the professors, and then deal with all those bureaucracy bullshit. Anyways. That's a topic for the other time, another time. Um, also, I got engaged, which is pretty huge. Um, so I met my girlfriend, now fiance, uh, um, roughly October, the, October 2020. Yeah, so we've been together for like a year and a half right now. And we got engaged uh, last year around May. Yeah, so um, a lot to talk about that. Uh, but probably a topic for another time. Uh, now I'm working at a pharmaceutical company in New Jersey and I also moved to uh, New Jersey as well. So um, life's pretty dull, Monday to Friday, nine to five, go to work and uh, you know, things like that. <sighs> yeah, that's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much like a sum up of all the updates since last time. Um, yeah graduated with PhD and got engaged, started working. Um, what else I can think of? Oh yeah, the uh, the pandemic thing, yeah. Surprisingly, it's still not over. I mean, my company now does not require you to, to wear masks anymore. You can wear it, of course, if you want, but it's not official policy now. Um, I feel like people in the US are more used to the pandemic now. They don't really care that much. Uh, pretty much you can do anything you want uh, comparing to pre-pandemic. You know, you can go to concerts, movies, uh, restaurants, of course. Uh, you don't have to wear masks in most of the places as long as you're vaccinated. And um, yeah, just life as usual. A lot, a lot more precautions, of course, have been carried out by uh, professionals, but I feel like people's lives are, I would say 80, 85% back to the, to the old tracks, which is good. You know, uh, in China, not so much. They're, they've gone crazy. Um, shut down the cities. People can't go to the hospitals if they're uh, sick with anything else but COVID. People are dying um, at their homes because of um, the stupid policies. And, uh, you know, the, the vegetables are, in, the prices of vegetables are skyrocketing to insane uh, values. Like, uh, I don't know. 100 Chinese yuan for one, I can't really say it in American terms. So 100 Chinese yuan per half a kilograms of, um, of cabbage. So that's roughly like uh, $16 for, wait, is that, so it's a pound. A pound is a little bit less than half a kilogram. So I would say $15 per pound of cabbage. And considering that things are always cheaper in China, that's pretty crazy. Um, anyways, um, people, people in China are suffering not in the same way uh, that Mark Rio used to suffer uh, from COVID. It's totally different. Um, anyway, probably don't want to get, get into that too much. So what have I covered? Um, graduated from NYU with a chemistry PhD, 
got engaged with my fiance. Um, you know, started working. Oh, I changed. Uh, I, I I moved from another another job I originally worked at. So around last um, July, yeah, the end of July, I started working in this company, and I worked there for like eight months. But it was a little bit of too much for uh, that I can handle. Not the you know the quality of the work part. I I do fine, but it's the workload is just too much for me to bear. Also, the commute is no easy. Oh my God, I was commuting for half a year from New York City to Cranberry, New Jersey. Can you imagine? It's like, I live in Midtown, uh, Manhattan. I have to go through Lincoln Tunnel and then I-95 all the way to Cranberry, New Jersey. If there's no traffic at all, like in the mornings, it takes an hour and a half because I also have to walk to where I parked the car because the, the, the garage in my apartment was too expensive for me. I had to walk like 15, 20 minutes to the car, wait for the valet to get the car for me and then drive to, to work. So in the morning, it costs like an hour and a half, which is insane, but at the time, I honestly think that was good. That was not bad because, listen to this, uh, it takes t at least two hours to drive home because you have to go through Lincoln Tunnel um, in, in rush hours in the evening and it takes a long time to just queue in the, uh, the you know, the stations. So that was pretty crazy. Um, workload is pretty high, was pretty high and the commute was crazy. So I left that job for this company, the current one, which is a little bit better, closer and um, a little bit um, better on the commute and higher pay. So yeah, so much about that. Also, I entered the, the um, 2022 H1B draft, H1B visa draft, but didn't get in, so it sucks. Um, yeah, holy shit, a lot to, <laughs> a lot to update with my, uh, you know, beloved viewers, viewer, singular, probably. And um, let's let's see what else. Current event: Russia invade invade Ukraine. That was probably. I feel like at this point everybody's confused and uh, have, have been a lot of back and forth on the the news side, you know, the opinions. First of all, people thought that Russia is going to destroy Ukraine in like an hour or two and there are fake news like that. Oh, Jesus, I'm using fake news. <laughs> like, actually, you don't have a better word for it. It's just fake news. Uh, there have been reports that was fake uh, showing that uh, Russia invaded Ukraine and destroyed Ukraine in one hour and 22 minutes, which is obviously not true later to be proved, but you can see how people imagine how the war was going to be. It was going to be one-sided with the Russian, uh, Russians have the upper hand and the Ukraine pretty much given up real soon. But right now, Ukraine, Ukrainians are holding strong and potentially, you know, wins the war in their sense. It's like, it's not like they can destroy Russia or something, but I feel like a successful defense would be winning for Ukraine. Anyways, uh, a lot of consequences. Russians got sanctioned. Um, they don't like that. So they said that, uh, oh, if you want to buy uh, my natural gas, you have to pay in rubles. Um, and Biden was like, oh, I don't like that either. So I'm going to use the strategic oil reserve to, um, you know, make the uh, oil prices, gas prices go down, gas prices. Americans always have a different name for things. It's like gasoline, uh, whereas petroleum was the world, uh, you know, name for, for the things you put in your car to make it working. Anyways, um, a lot of news about that. I, I don't really pay much attention about it anyways. So what else? Um, yeah, really nothing much. I feel like life is a, a lot, um, a lot like a normal or uh, how do you say without events how do you say like 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 um, like boring in a good way there has to be a word for it anyway i can't uh, can't think of anything right now but life is like uh um normal when you're at work when you're working instead of uh, as a student so right now just like monday to friday go to work um go home and cook and then watch some shows or play some games if my girlfriend or fiance allows me to <laughs> isn't that sad like a, a guy can do anything he wants when when he's single you can sleep whenever you want as long as you know your boss or your professor is okay with it and you can play games whenever you want or you know whatever activities you like to do 
uh, I'm just saying playing games because I'm a gamer. Um, you know, it's like free of anything. Uh, and guys don't appreciate that. You know, you don't appreciate how lucky and happy you were until you got a girlfriend. Like, guys always wanted to have a girlfriend when they're single. It's like, i oh, playing games 24 7, doing whatever. Well, that's not good enough. I want a girlfriend. Because of what? Because we're guys, like, we're, we're uh, occupied or enslaved by, the, by our primal needs. Like, you know, insert that thing or whatever. Uh, you think with your dick. Anyways, but when you actually got a girlfriend, as long as, you know, most of the, in most cases, she's not gonna be the angel who still allows you to do anything you want, but still loves you. Um, the chance is she's going to, you know, require a lot of things to be changed from you. Like, you have to care for her needs, which is, of course, you should, well, something you should do, but also you don't get to um, do whatever you want with your own time. You know, it's just, I love my fiance and everything, but uh, sometimes it's frustrating. Sometimes I, I admit that I um, even look forward to uh, when she's going out with her friends. Um, you know, I was like, honey, yeah, that's great. Just go out, hang out with, uh, hang out with your friends. Um, that's good. Well, secretly I'm thinking this is probably gonna be two or three hours of free time that I'm gonna use it very effectively. Uh, yeah, anyway, there's that. But overall, you know, in this relationship, that's how things work. Um, if you don't want to be so attached to someone else, why don't just you, why don't you just get, you know, why don't you just be single and keep it that way? Which is uh, what a lot of people does these, uh, these days. A lot of people do. So, uh, what else? Okay, I'm at uh, exit 13A, which means... I have probably like another 20 minutes to get home. Um, oh my god, the i95 is so fucking expensive right now. It's like $10 per ride. I used to drive uh, the toll road in the morning and in the evening, but I can't. I can't afford it. I cannot afford that. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be like $20 just on the tolls. I remember I used to live in Manhattan, so there's like an extra 1350 uh, to go through the Lincoln Tunnel. You don't pay anything when you're exiting, but you pay 1350 when you're uh, going through, going into the New York City through the Lincoln Tunnel. So that was like $20 plus 1350. That's $33.5 just for tolls every day. And that was before, you know, when I was at, uh, at the other job. And I um, also have to pay uh, gas. Gas was like, I mean, gas prices wasn't so crazy at the time. It was like 3.30. Now it's like 4. 4 something. Oh, well, it goes down a little bit these days. It's like uh, the cheapest one I saw on the road was uh, 3.89, 3.83. Because of the Biden's um, plan or anything. I guess I like that, you know. So, basically I have to pay like 8 or $7 of gas um, every day. So the commute alone cost me 40 something dollars every day it was crazy it was like half of the money i i, I paid was spent on commute uh, not, not to mention that uh, only a car you have to pay uh, insurances and uh, parking in new york city i paid 250 a month which is like a, the best deal you can probably get in new york city you can only park there um during the night and, and weekends and holidays not even holidays just weekends if monday is like holiday you have to drive it out otherwise you're paying the day rate but still, 250 is a steal. Uh, most most places cost like 500, 600 dollars monthly. So it was really ridiculous and did not make any sense. That's why I moved to New Jersey. Uh, I live in Jersey City right now. Okay. Anyways, what else? Oh, I'm closing to my exit. Okay. I don't even know what it sounds like when I'm talking in my car because it used to be like I, I'm talking to myself uh, in my own room and the, the, there's no noises or anything but now it's like a lot of noise so I don't know we'll see Whew. okay um, what else can I think of oh right I mean I had a very very big argument with my mother like a couple of months ago um, basically she doesn't like the fact that uh, I now have to or not have to like probably will stay in America for at least the short to medium term 
um, like after I met my uh, fiance, we decided to stay here because she does not like to go back to China because China is really sexist against women. I guess everywhere is uh, just a matter of degree. Um, and I, I agree with that. I love her and I wanted to stay here to make a living, make a life for us. My mother or my family in general did not like that, nor uh, did her family as well, neither, sorry. You know, it's understandable. Um, imagine you have a kid and um, he or she decided not to go back to the same country you live in. Um, it's gonna drive you mad, right? Unless you have a really bad relationship with your kid. In that case, you'd probably be happy. Anyways, um, I blocked her number or the equivalent of blocking her number for a couple months um, until my, oh right, I didn't mention this, my PhD advisor passed away, Jesus. That was like a big shock to everybody. Um, I attended, a fu uh, attended his funeral, not funeral, like memorial, um, like two months ago. So that was really tragic. Um, everybody loved, loves him so much. He's just so brilliant and funny and respectable. Just, you know, it's such a shock. Anyways, that was actually the, the how I got, you know, you know, uh, communicate with my mother again. I was like, Mom, hey, my uh, PhD advisor, the professor passed away, and you know, it's like kind of like a, like a, like a, how do you say it? Like an incident where you forgot how much you don't like someone briefly and you reconnected. I don't know. So, what else? Uh, oh, right, by the way, um, I don't know how it works for most people. It's like, I just realized that when you don't live in New York City anymore, or you don't, um, you don't have access to okay food so easy. It's like when you're in a university, you have like, um, like the cafeterias, right? Especially in those uh, closed door universities where you have a campus and um, you have to eat inside of campus, otherwise you, there's nowhere to eat. So they make food really accessible to students and faculties, and I'm, I was so used to that. Imagine I, I spent um, three years in high school living in, in campus. Yeah, I started living in campus. I started living in campus actually the last year of my middle school, so ninth grade. I started to live in campus, you know, eating cafeteria food. And contrary to most people, I don't hate it that much. It's like, it's kind of already politically correct to this, the cafeteria food. It's like, everybody's like, oh, they're so bad. I don't think so. I, I just, I like them. I don't hate them. You know, they're okay considering their price and um, um, the amount of food you have to prepare. It's like, of course, more food you prepare, the, the less tasteful they're going to be. So I was so used to eating cafeteria food, I like uh, kind of entitled to it. So I was like, there should always be a cheap way to get access, uh, to access a uh, fresh, okay meal. Um, that was the case in, in, in my ninth grade, you know, last year in middle school, that was the case in high school, that was the case in college, that was the case in grad school, and I spent the last, I don't know, 5 plus 3 plus um, 4, 8, 12, 13 years with access to, um, you know, quality food from the cafeteria. And now I started working, I was like, where, where to eat? Because it, it takes... Um, you know, it wastes a, a lot of money and, and time to go find somewhere to eat uh, during lunch, you know. So what do I do? I don't know what you guys did, but what I do is that I cook the whole week's food, you know, the food for the entire week at lunch uh, during the weekend, and I freeze them. And uh, I take them out every day and, you know, just microwave them and then eat it. <laughs> I don't know if that's like a like a good idea or something. Some people cook every day. I know that some of my coworkers do that, but it's just after one day of exhausting work, and the drive and the commute, you go home. You don't really want to cook anything for the next day. It's like too much. So, um, anyways, let me know if if you have any suggestions. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep cooking the whole week's meal and then pack it up and then eat it every day. I used to cook a lot of vegetables too, but then I realized that, or I've been told that it's not good. Um, it's okay to freeze meat for an entire week, but for vegetables, I think you want 
them uh, to be fresh. It's like um, there's some kind of chemical reactions happening. I know it sounds ridiculous since I'm a, a chemistry PhD, but I don't exactly know how it works and how you know vegetables are even worse uh, than meat to be froze, to be frozen. But um, I don't know. So now I just um, cook some rice and uh, cook some meat and then buy those salad from, from Amazon, from uh, you know Whole Foods to eat uh, during lunch. It's like a barbarian who grabs a lot of uh, vegetables and stuff in your mouth. Um, yeah. What else? I'm closing to, uh, to home. Probably another 10 minutes will get me there. Oh, the car, right, the car. So I bought a car, um, I paid off the car instead of leasing it or financing it because I had the I had the money, so why not? You know, that's one of the things that uh, people in China and people in America or people in outside of China differs, I feel like. Uh, if you're an American and you have the money to pay for something in full, but you probably wouldn't do it, you probably still would pay, like, uh, have a payment plan or something, you know? Even if you can completely afford it, um, but in China, when people have the chance to completely afford something, they just do it. It's like a thousand dollars for an iPhone. I would just pay it off the day I uh, I bought it. But American people or a lot of other people would probably just pay over twenty four month. Uh, it, eventually, you're paying exactly the same amount, but just personal preferences, uh, I guess. So the car is. Um, I bought the car because I had to use the car to, to commute, to work. Um, the car was bought uh, like a couple of days prior to my first job at uh, the other place. Um, it was a 2021 Toyota Corolla, white, uh, with gray interior, uh, just a basic level LE. Um, and I, I paid it for, I paid $23,600 for it. Which is considering how the prices of cars went up after uh, a short while because of the shortage of chips, it was a pretty good deal. I had to, you know, travel to a lot of places, like a lot of Toyota dealers, uh, just to compare and then hear their offers and then just kind of offers and everything. It took me like a, a week or something to do that, um, but it was worth it. Worth it. So I like the car so far. Um, you know. Um, I guess I'm the kind of person who does not really care what my cars are about to drive. I just want the cheapest one with, uh, you know, reliable quality. Um, yeah. So it was. It, it came down to um, Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla, the, the two most, the best sellers in the U.S. And I chose this one because I don't really like the Honda, um, like, um, like the, the logo. Actually, is that also? I heard someone posting a review on the internet saying that Hondas uh, give you Honda Civics has a lot of noise when driving. So I don't know. It's, it's, it's amazing how the, the the smallest things makes you decide what to buy. Um, in a lot of cases, right? I'll, I'll never fully understand how um, branding and um, you know uh, marketing works. Anyways, so I'm exiting. I just uh, took the exit from uh, from the highway. Um, probably from now to home is like a, a few minutes. Oh, how time flies <laughs> when we're having not having fun when I'm rambling to a phone while driving. Actually, you know what? This is so much better than um, just sitting here and doing nothing, listening to music I've been listening to since I was in middle school. <laughs> Because I can't afford musics that that are current. Um, it's it's that also I don't really have the stigma for it. It's like once you're not a teenager anymore, your taste for music just stops there. You know, whatever you were listening prior to that uh, to that time is good, and whatever happens afterwards is pure bullshit. <laughs> so that was fine. Uh, actually, these these songs I'm listening to these days are still. Uh, you know, I still the ones I downloaded before I came to the Amer uh, came to the states because I heard that it's illegal to download sounds here. It turns out to be true. Uh, anyways, okay. There's one traffic light before I head home. Um, 
and today there's no traffic, so that's good. It's only 521 right now. Huh. I'm making home pretty early because I uh, got off work like 15 minutes earlier than I should. It's like 445, so um, that's another thing about this job is that I've been at this job for four weeks already and uh, I just haven't really assigned me any project for myself yet. I'm just kind of just walking around helping people doing their tests. Like today, Jamil has a uh, GC uh, to run, so I help him with that. And tomorrow, Peter has an assay to run, I help him with that. And there's some dissolution probably the next day. And, you know, just, um, I'm not complaining. I mean, comparing to my previous company where you're busy to the, to the, uh, you're, what's the, like I was gonna say busy to your ass, but that's not really an expression, right? It is, you know, it's better this way. Anyways, let's see how that goes. Um, yeah, what else? That's pretty much everything I can I could think of um, right now. Obviously, um, in the future when we do these kind of um, ramblings I'll probably think of something to say um, just to give you more details about the past I would say two years of my life um, yeah let's leave it like that I am going into Jersey City and I'll be home pretty soon I can't really turn off the video right now because I'm driving I mean, that would be, that would be unsafe. I'm not even looking at the camera. So, I mean, my, my parents had a really big problem with me driving and calling them at the same time. They're like, oh, it's not safe. You shouldn't do that. I want to tell them that I drive like 70 miles per hour, which is pretty much the average. I will say even below the average when there's no traffic, when people are driving on the highway. I was like, are you crazy? They're, they're like, are you crazy? Do you want to die? Do you want us to like uh, give you a funeral when we're still alive or something like that? You know, it's impossible to reason with um, with parents. I think it's because they're so used to being the um, um, like being the parents. They're so used to being the the person with uh, absolute power and absolute. Um, it's like um, what's the what, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like um, like someone who's uh, uh, whose word counts? Like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like someone in charge. Yeah, let's 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 put it that way. Um, parents are so used to being someone in charge, and uh, right now when society are growing so fast or changing so fast, kids, being the younger person, uh, often has the opportunity to learn something faster than them. So, you know, they can't deal with that, and. That's why a lot of frictions happen between parents and kids. I personally love my parents. Uh, I think most people do. It's just uh, sometimes it's hard to reason with them, you know. Um, it's sad, really. I feel like, in that sense, I probably prefer the old days where, um, you know, technology and social society does not develop or evolve for hundreds of years. And uh, your parents' experiences and knowledge were still good. Uh, when you are 40, 50 years old, so you don't really have to argue with them so much because you do have to rely on their experiences and everything. Uh, I often imagine what would it be if I lived in, uh, lived in that kind of era. First of all, it would be much um, simpler, I guess. You don't have to learn so much every day. Something you, you've, you've accustomed to in your, in your, in your teenager in, in your teenage years would probably be useful your entire life <sighs> yeah okay um i'm home this is the last traffic stop i'm gonna stop right now and i'll see you next time peace out